I didn't record it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you explain articulate for us, Jackson? Yeah, articulate, 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 which is a verb. We say that the, the, the definition says uh, able to express thoughts and feelings easily and clearly or showing this quality. Like we have, for example, uh, an intelligent and highly, sorry, you're doing something else. I'm changing my background. Yeah. Yeah, articulate. It's uh, express an idea, a speech, or uh, uh, say, or some anything that, uh, in order to provide and uh, to transmit uh, an yeah, idea. Yeah. It's like uh, a express. Yeah, How to express your idea, but clearly. Yeah. Yeah. And with uh, showing this quality. So okay. For example, right now. Uh, Jackson articulating the idea of the meaning of, I don't know. No, no, Jackson articulated the meaning of articulate. What? Can you repeat that? Jackson articulated the meaning mm -hmm. or description of the word articulate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you told us, expressed it very clearly to us yeah yeah yeah. yeah like i can say yeah um uh yesterday i participated in a conference uh, a lecture where the the person who uh the person who was performing uh was articulating well and then we understood the whole part of the speech great articulate articulate Articulate. 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 Is, articulate. 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 But, but no, no, this is adjective. That's why articulate. But we are talking about verb, I think. Am I right? Articulate. Did you see the difference, Jackson? Articulate. Verb is articulate, but articulate. adjective. Articulate. 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 articulate the 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 difference the little it's like a, a, a little a substantial uh differentiation a little uh uh a little piece of stuff that differentiate them it's not big stuff but you yeah. at the end of the like the the last syllable for, where for, in the for for. yeah in the, in the adjective part you say articulate articulate late and then in the verb you just say articulate late lit and late lit and late you see it's like a little tiny tiny articulate yeah, articulate you see articulate 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 you see articulate, yeah. articulate. Late. Yeah. at the end of the at the end of the word you know what as far as i know the you know word ending with a t a a t e sorry a t e mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. separate separate this mm -hmm. pronunciation difference dominates. You know, there are lots of examples like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know separate, separate? Yeah, yeah, S separate. This one. For example, this is the adjective. Separate. Yes. Yeah. Separate. separate. Verb, it. look at the word. Separate. 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 And then they put emphasis in the second syllable, like, the, the first one they cut off like you know jumping on, on jumping the the second syllable like separate 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 and separate. then the, the, the verb separate separate but, but, like, but suggest... check it out check it out the verb check it out again once again separate no the verb the verb it, this is the verb. adjective okay. okay separate separate you see you see separate separate, separate. Yeah, she, she on the I didn't. Phone. I didn't. I didn't even pay attention about that. But thank you for <laughs> for Man, coming. Through. There are lots of examples. Thank you welcome. for coming through. Welcome. Let's. Can you tell us the description of enunciate? Enunciate. Yeah. Enunciate. Enunciate is uh as we see at the at the end of the uh 
uh, at the at, at the beginning, it's a formal verb, and it's a verb, and then it's formal. It's a really formal way to say pronunciate. Like it's when you are pronunciating uh, words or parts of words clearly in a very understandable enunciate. Uh, you know. Yeah, enunciate. Pronounce clearly. Enun so enunciate. Enun enunciate. 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 British. Enunciate. 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 Yeah. Is there an adjective form? No, there is no adjective. No. All of them are no. verb. It's a verb. To express or explain something in a very clearly way. Enunciate and articulate. Verb yeah. form. Oh, there is, you know, chirping. Birds chirping? What's called? Choppy? Uh, no, I, I, I. Do you know chirp? Chirp. Chirp? You, you're talking about chirp? No, no, no. This is chirp. 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 Oh, no. No, I didn't know that. Chirp. Check it out. Especially, uh, to uh, make a short high sound or sound. Oh. To say something with a high, happy voice. So, the, the you know, I have seen it in the films. You know, it was an expression that birds were chirping. Birds chirping, something like that. Yeah, chirp, yeah. chirp, chirp. Yeah. Especially birds. Look at it, Jackson. Especially yeah. birds to make a short, high sound or sounds. Yeah, chirp, 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 chirp. chirp. <laughs> you know, chirp in Turkish means something trash. But in, in in which language? In my language. Wow. <laughs> trash, garbage. <laughs> But yeah, 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 trash. Take the trash from the from the house. Do you know honk? No. Honk, honk, honk. You know, for example, you are in a car and there's another car and you just want to go. So one dead car go fast. So just honking. You, you, you are pressing on horn and it honks. Yeah. It honks. Okay. If a goose or a car horn honks, it makes a short, loud sound. I didn't know that goose voice was also called honking. But mm -hmm. car sound, I know. Oh, in UK it means vomit. 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 How to pronounce it? Vomit. 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 Oh. Vomit. Vomit, vomit has a, in a, in a, a synonym, which is, I think, throw, throw, throw out or something like that. Oh, yeah. That was a phrasal verb. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, honestly, I can't remember it. Throw, throw up, I think. Throw yeah. up? Let me check. Throw up something. I think throw up. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, throw, throw up. Throw, throw up, Th throw up, throw up. Oh, throw up. Throw. 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 Yeah, throw. Throw. Up. He threw up all over his shoes. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> I didn't understand imagine, it. Imagine, you, you don't understand? No. You don't. Oh, what does remember? it mean? Okay, it's remember through has uh, the past participle, a simple past. Okay, I know it. Okay. Okay. Now, now it's uh, something has something obsolete, and then if, if, uh, imagine you are in a public, uh, in if, event, yeah, a public event or an activity or party, something like that, and then you you just feel like drunk, you drink a lot, and then you you become drunk, and then you you start. You're throwing up on your shoes and then on your pen and maybe on something, someone else. That would be really, really yeah. frustrating. Right. I got it, but it's difficult for me to understand. The second sentence, the shoes. Shoes. I fed the I baby fed. some fruit, but she threw it up. This is you understand that, right? I, but, you know, in the first sentence, what I didn't understand that 
All, all over. over his shoes. I didn't understand all over. All over. Yeah, it's all over. All over. All of the all of the things. It means all of the things in the stomach. It means that. Hey man, your voice is in, being interrupted. I cannot hear you right now, for example. I don't know if there's a connection issue, man. I cannot hear you. There's a connection issue, oh, yeah. man. Jackson. All over. What does all over his shoes? Yeah. Self, you can put poor, for example, let's say. Jackson, you know, your voice comes, you know, there is an up and down in your voice. I don't know if I, I am able to say it. I cannot hear you right now. Your voice comes, I can hear a little bit, but later it's interrupted again. Right now, for example, I cannot hear you. No voice. Jackson, are you here? I'm here. Yeah, okay. I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Okay, man. Let's pass the other word. For example, this one. Listen, Jackson. like you are put, like you are put. Mm -hmm. Throw the book at someone. <laughs> Throw the book at some, somebody? At somebody, at somebody. You know, when I yeah. was a child, my mom all the uh, time severely, severely punished someone. Uh, Jackson, you know, when I was a child, my mom uh, all the time throw at me when she got angry, slippers. You know, slippers. Can you hear me? Because enough for me not to be man. Severely punish someone. Come on to talk to the TV. I hear you. Man, do you know slippers? After the accident, the safety inspector threw the book at the company directors. Oh my God. Uh, for example, if you are looking for an excuse for something that, you know, happens, something happened badly, then you would try to throw the book at someone. But if you couldn't find someone to throw the book at, what are you gonna do? This is the question. There are, all the expressions are related with throw throw something together to make something quickly without special care or preparation. I had to throw dinner together at the last minute. I think it's pronunciation is minute, minute, minute. Rattle through something to do or say something very quickly. I'm going to rattle through my work today so that I can go home early. He rattled through the list of countries he had visited. Is enough today, guys. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself and catch you later and continue to, you know, nobody's continuing, but anyway, see you. Bye-bye.